Hi, welcome to Touchpoints TV. I'm Debbie House, Editor-in-Chief of Retail Touchpoints, and I'm here today with Simon Thompson, who's the Director of Commercial Solutions at Esri. Thanks for joining us this morning. Well, thank you. It's good to be here. So um, we want to talk about some trends in retail, and specifically, um, I want to start out by asking you about uh, your work with location analytics. And first, maybe you could give us a little bit of uh, information on exactly uh, what that is. So there's a lot of discussion at the moment in retail about business decisions, business analytics, and you know, particularly around things like big data. So location analytics is really taking big data and adding the location part of it, where, where your customers are, where your stores are, and bring it together in such a way that now I start to understand context as well as the content. So why are people going to particular stores? Why are they buying things? And that's having a lot of resonance in things like showrooming, store performance, optimization, supply chain. So really using location to analyze everything in retail. So taking your information from all the channels, including social media, um, all the mobile devices. Yeah, social media, mobile devices, um, internally in your point of sale system. You know, really looking at addressing some of the challenges that people are having. So, you know, there's a lot of discussion about how the store itself is becoming less and less relevant as people e-tail. But, um, you know, the research from people like Kellogg's and others is saying that it's really about customer experience. You know, I want to shop in particular ways, particular times. And using the type of location analytics and spatial information we provide and we mine out of those systems, it says, well, is this really um, a pattern because of what the customer wants or the lack of service and lack of provision of products that the retailer is providing? So when you're having discussions with um, customers and potential customers about using location analytics um, and just and talking about big data, do they do they need to be um, you know have a certain understanding or be at a certain point with their understanding and use of big data before they can add in the location analytics? And not really. I mean, we're, we're working with people that have you know, traditionally invested a lot of money in BI platforms and data warehouses and are very familiar with big data and what's happening there. But equally, people that are just starting on the journey. You know, they've, they've had these massive systems and they've thrown away a lot of information. But uh, increasingly what we're seeing is you know, drivers around customer intimacy, improving marketing, improving merchandising. You know, all of those are, are ways that you can really squeeze value and efficiency out of the system. So, so big data is a source of that, but they're really seeing location as the way of aggregating information in new ways to ask different questions, get better insight. So are there specific um, types of retailers that are using your solutions? We're pretty heavily involved in all of the areas. We tend to be at the larger end of, of town, traditionally because they've, they've invested in big projects, but pretty much everywhere. You know, we've got some good case studies with Petco in site selection. Um, Asina did a lot of work to understand their brands as they you know, merged and they've, they've got you know, different changing dynamics. Um, Nike do a lot of work on understanding their customers with us. So, you know, Darden restaurants. So we're in all of the areas, you know, grocery, um, drug stores, specialty stores, mass merchandising, all the way across. Different types of priorities depending on what the needs are at the, at, you know, for each yeah. retail. Yeah, and, and that's one of the great things about location analytics is you don't have to try and eat the elephant. You know, start in a small space, grow from that, so and, and expand all the way through as you get new questions or driven by better insights. So what are um, a couple of the key trends uh, you think are impacting retail this year? Well, I think the, part, the past year has all been about mobility, you know, mobility and social media. So you're seeing more and more people using social media to communicate and the retailers trying to reach out to consumers. Um, we're seeing a real change in away from the anonymous shopper to the known consumer and how do we reach that. And we're using a lot of location analytics to bring that intimacy. Uh, the other place we're really seeing is now the, a lot of the questions you've had to ask before probably aren't giving you the value that 
you know, w was promoted last, last year. So we're seeing now an emphasis on really trying to drive through insights, mine data, make sense of it. You know, people are talking about big data, but what does that really mean? So people come in and say and explain what you do, why you add value, what does this mean for us, what can we take back and make work. So. All right, terrific. Well, thanks so much for sharing your insights with us today. No and uh, thanks to all of you for joining us on Touchpoints TV.